Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today we are bringing you a one brand tutorial, which is a new series we're going to start incorporating on this channel. And this month's episode is all about Vapor Organic Beauty. I'm sure you guys know about this from the title and also just because they are big players in the green beauty game. They also happen to have a super diverse selection of products. So everything on my face today is by Vapor. 99% rather is by Vapor because they don't have a mascara. So today I'm bringing you a look that's just very much inspired by what we're seeing on the spring runways. Lots of bold lips actually and all about the lashes, almost kind of like a doll-like effect and keeping the skin looking as fresh and natural as possible. It really is all about the skin and keeping everything else super minimal. So I'm bringing you guys that today. Super easy to achieve, anybody can do it and I will also be highlighting some of my favorite products from Vapor Organic Beauty. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, you can just go ahead and keep watching. Just getting straight into it, we're starting with the primer. This is the Stratus Instant Skin Perfector from Vapor. This will really just make our makeup go on nice and smooth, as well as keep that longevity. So I apply straight from the stick and then I blend that in with my hands just to really melt it into the skin. And then following up with the Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation, I am in the shade 123. I'm just gonna take a big pump on the back of my hand there, as you can see. It's quite a runny formula, so I like to apply this with my hands. I first go in and I dot it on, and then I will start blending it in, and you'll see it's not the most full coverage, but it will really even out the skin tone and give that fresh base that we're looking for. So just work in circular motions again to really melt it into the skin. And you could always layer this if you need a little bit more coverage. It's quite buildable. Once the foundation is applied, I'm going to go in with the Illusionist Concealer. I am in the shade 20. And I put a little bit of this everywhere. I go in again from the stick. That's what I love about Vapor, those multi-use products. And I'm going right under the eyes, covering some redness at the edges of my eyes. I'm going to go and apply some on the eyelid just to neutralize my discoloration and around the nose and on my chin where I get red as well. And I'm just gonna tap that in with the Dallium Tool 769 brush. I like this for eyeshadow, I like it for concealer as well. It'll really just help blend that product in flawlessly. And as always, I'm doing circular motions. It's the best way to blend product in, switching between my finger and the brush. Once that's all applied, I go in with bronzer. This is a cream bronzer. It's the Solar Translucent Bronzer in the shade Mirage. This is the lightest shade. I wanted to look bronzed, but I didn't want to look too bronzed. So I just went in right with the stick and I'm just applying this where the sun would naturally hit my face in that little three motion as well as on the center of my face. And I'm blending that in with the Delium Tools 948 brush. I normally use this founda for foundation, but it's also awesome for blending in any cream product you may use. And as always, try to blend upwards and not bring it down so we can keep the face looking elevated and not make it look muddy. And then when we get down to the chin, you could go ahead and bring it down your neck just so it looks as blended as possible. And then with blush, we're also using cream. This is the Aura Multi-Use in Spark. And again, straight from the bullet, this is like, how easy can it be? I'm just gonna apply that right to the apples on my cheeks, quite heavily, cause I'm about to sheer it out. And I also wanna look nice and healthy. So once that's applied exactly where I want it to, I just blend this in with my fingers. Fingers with cream products tend to be the best way to blend it in. You just get that really, really natural finish. So when you're done with the face, it should look a little something like this. And on to brows. I can't do my eyeshadow without my brows. I'm using the Well People Mineral um, Eye Pigment in Espresso, as well as a tiny little Delium Tools eyebrow brush. This is the 760. As I always start with the tail just to really get that definition and then I will line the bottom of my eyebrow and then start flicking up. I love this brush because it's really, really precise. You can really make it look like hair as you apply. And then I'm gonna go in and just carve out those brows with the 934 Delium Tools Concealer Brush and my Illusionist Concealer. This is just good to clean up any mess that you have, sometimes powder could get all over the place. I just really want the eyebrows and the eyes to look clean since we're not doing any eyeshadow for this look. Once that's all blended in, I'm using the 
the main product on the eyes we're using today. This is the Vapor Organic Beauty Mesmerize Eye Pencil. This is an ink. This is the black. So as you can see on both eyes, I'm just drawing a really thin line as close as I can get to the lash line. And it has the best sponge on the other end. This is my favorite way to blend out the liner. It blends perfectly, but it sets. So I draw that little line, I smudge it out, and then I'm good to go. I have all the definition that I need. This will really just make us look um, like we have much fuller lashes once we apply mascara. And once I'm done with that little trick, I'm going to start making little dots underneath my eye. So this looks really intense at first, but again, we put on that mascara, it'll make your, your eyes look so big. It'll make you look, you have so much eyelashes. It really is an awesome trick if you suffer with thin eyelashes or you just like thick lashes more than anything. And following that up with lots and lots and lots of Well People Expressionist mascara, I'm talking like three to four coats of this stuff to get as lashy as humanly possible. And then we're gonna go in with a little lip mixture. I'm going in with the Siren Lipsticks in Hint and Courage. And I'm gonna take Hint, which is the more corally one. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna apply that on my top lip, nice and heavily. These colors are really saturated in pigment, so it's really easy. And then I'm gonna take Courage and apply that to my bottom lip. It's more like a berry red. And I'm just gonna mesh my lips together to get the perfect, mid-tone yet bold shade to complement this look. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I really hope you like it. It was super easy to achieve and it is perfect for the spring and summertime that every day we are getting closer and closer to. I'm so excited, I'm sure you guys are as well. I hope you enjoyed our first edition of the One Brand Tutorials. There will be more to come, but if you have any brand suggestions, obviously leave us a comment down below as well as any other thing you would like to see on this channel. All of our social media will be linked down below as well and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're there. We upload new videos every single Monday and that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.